Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I thought I'd share another uh, proofing tip for you on how we can create non-printing layers in our designs so that we can give our customers a more accurate representation of how their prints are going to look like while at the same time maintaining the proper print setup so that we can send our uh, files directly off to be printed. So what I'm talking about is I have a business card here and let's say that we're going to go ahead and we're going to use some kind of recycled substrate to print this onto. So one of those uh, like heavily recycled pieces of paper that almost looks like chipboard or something like that. Lots of little grains and everything in there. And I want to be able to show that to my customer so that they can see visually how their uh, ink and the colors and everything are going to lay down on the actual substrate. But at the same time, I still want to be able to just send that file uh, straight off to be printed once the customer approves. So the way I can do that is I have one uh, artwork layer here in my layers palette. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and I'll just call this background. And I'm going to go ahead and place my background layer behind or underneath my artwork layer. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll click the... Uh, uh, lock button here so that I don't actually place this on the artwork layer but what I'm gonna do here is just create myself a new graphics frame and I'll just have it be three and a half by two I'll center it up here and I'll go ahead and I'm going to set the fitting to be fill frame proportionally so I'll click OK and then I'll come up here to file and place and what I found is a JPEG of what this substrate is essentially going to look like so you can see it's got all of these little like graininess to there to it and it looks like a piece of chipboard essentially so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to open that and place it in here i'll just hit okay and now i have my visual representation of what this design is going to look like on the actual substrate so when my customer sees this, they're going to say, you know, like, oh, this looks good. You know, I like how it looks on that material, or maybe it's too dark. They want to lighten it or they want to add some color to it, whatever the case may be. But what I need to do is I need to export this, obviously, so that I can set up a PDF to actually email the customer. But I need to also set it up in a way that I can set this background here to be non-printing. So if you're if you're thinking of oh well I can just go ahead and I can right click on the layer here I can go into layer options and I can just uncheck print layer that sounds like it would work except that when I go to export this and I'll just export it real quick I had already saved it when you do that it will not export the actual background it's just going to export whatever layers you have set as print layers. So the way to get around this is, I'm just going to go ahead and go back in here and check that uh, checkbox again. Instead, when I go to export, I'll go ahead and I'll overwrite my file here. I want to go to, let's, let's start with the uh, press quality preset. What I need to do is I need to create Acrobat layers. Now, obviously, this is grayed out because this is only Acrobat 5 or PDF 1.4. It needs to be PDF 1.5 or higher. So if I change that to Acrobat 6, I can now check that checkbox and I'll click Export. Now, visually, everything shows up exactly the way I want it. Here's my design. Here's my background. But I don't want the background to print. So the way to get around that is in the little menu here on the left hand side if this is closed you'll see the little arrow and if you're using a newer version of acrobat this actually is on the opposite side but here under the layers and if this doesn't show up just right click and click layers and then you'll see here there are several layers in my pdf file based off of the layers that i had here in indesign so if i go back to acrobat I have my artwork layer here, which I can uncheck, and the background layer, which I can uncheck. So what I want to do is I want to right click here on the background layer and I'll go to properties. And under uh, print here, I need to just change this from 
prints when invisible to never prints. And when I'll click OK, I'll go ahead and close this and I'll just come back up here and save it. And now visually, everything looks exactly the way I want it to. My customer is going to open this up. They're going to view it on their screen. They're going to say, hey, this looks great. Go ahead and send it off to print. But since I set this up so that the background layer is set to never prints, if I go ahead and I click my print preview here, you'll notice that the background does not show up. The other great thing about this is if I go ahead and I were to place this into a brand new document in design or in um, Illustrator, for example, let me go ahead and just come back here. And here is my PDF that I just created. When I click open, you can see that layer, if I go into my layers area, is locked because I currently have it set to non-printing. So when I place this in, the background does not show up. That background layer is not there. But like I said, visually, if I go back to Acrobat, it shows. So this way, my customer gets a better rep visual representation. And I also can just send this directly off to my production equipment, impose it, set it up however I want, and I can go ahead and print, and it'll basically just omit the background layer from the actual printing. Um, I have a couple more designs here to illustrate this a little bit further. I have a envelope design here, and let's say we're gonna print this not only on a piece of uh, maybe like a canary type paper, but I also want to show my customer the window specs on the actual um, design so that they understand you know, where, where the uh, window position is, the size of it, etc. Uh, this one's not so important because it's just a corner card information um, up in the upper left hand corner. But let's say maybe you had information that stretches all the way down and you want to make sure that your design doesn't fall right into the area where the window patch is. So the same thing here, I've gone into my layers, I've set up a new layer for my window patch, I've set up a layer for my envelope color, and when I export this out, I just need to make sure that I have this create Acrobat layer set up. I export it, here's my visually representation, visual representation of what the envelope is gonna look like. And again, I just go to my layers, and I click on my window patch to be never prints. And I'll do the same thing with my envelope color layer as well. So that way, after I save it, and I go ahead and I go to print, you can see my little corner card here shows up and it's gonna print just fine, but none of the other items are gonna show there as well. Uh, the last um, two examples I'll show real quick. One here is for a ticket. And again, let's say that we're going to print this on some kind of like gold foil or something like that. And we're going to perforate this right here. Same thing. What I've done is I've gone and created two new layers, one for the perforation mark and one for the background. And if I export this and do the same thing as like the others, none of those elements will actually show when I actually go to print. And the last one here is for a uh, booklet. And this booklet here maybe let we're going to um, set this up to be YRO bound along the left hand side I do this often for books because oftentimes I'll get artwork from customers and some of their text or maybe a image or something bleeds into this area and gets cut off this way I can provide a good visual representation to the customer of where this these uh, YRO uh, punch outs are going to be so that just in case they have any of their design work fall into that area, maybe they decide to go back and they can um, make edits to it, kick it over a little bit, or we can push it out further away from that uh, hole punch area. And it's the same thing as just like the others. Once I have my uh, PDF that I've exported, I simply go into my layers, I click on my YRO layer here, and I just go properties, and I go never prints and I just make sure to save this file and that way when I go ahead and hit print those little that little um, punch out here this doesn't show up and so I can send this directly off to press to be printed or I can print it from my home printer whatever the case is those items will not print even though they visually are there on the screen 
So I hope that helps somebody out. Um, I use it, like I said, I use it all the time when I'm doing proofs. It gives a better visual represent, representation to the customer, but at the same time, it works just like a regular PDF file that doesn't have this on there. Let me know if you have any questions. Please uh, put them down in the comment sections below. A like, share, and subscribe always goes a long way to helping out the channel. If you want to download any of these files, for this video, I'll go ahead and I'll post them on my Patreon page. These are free to any Patreon members, or you can purchase them for a one-time use if so inclined. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. If you, if you have any ideas for future videos or want to see anything, please leave that down in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.